when when COVID hit you back in March, what was going kind of on the month before and then immediately after? Yeah, so we um, you know, we've we we opened in 2017 and 2017 and we've seen some pretty you know pretty steady growth um and then the beginning of 2020 uh we did make some changes with regards to marketing as well as our target customer um and we did see some incremental growth and then of course march hit um and we lost about 30 percent of our customers um so you know we were we made the right moves in order to incrementally grow our business. I mean, this is one of those businesses where you really don't want to grow way too fast because then, you know, your, your, your customer count goes through the roof, but also your quality can tank. So we need to measure that, that growth and, and monitor it accordingly to maintain quality. So, um, you know, we, we, we were growing at a pretty good pace and then we had to obviously deal with what everybody else had to deal with. So as a business owner of a few years at that point and a guy who had been kind of entrepreneurial over the years, and then wreck shop happens. Like, how do you handle that? Because I mean, I think I think the biggest question back in March was just this unknown of like the severity of something from a business perspective. How how are you mentally, emotionally, physically handling something that none of us had ever handled in in our lifetimes? Yeah. So it was it was difficult from the aspect of you know we so as entrepreneurs and, and business owners you know, we are responsible for putting food on the table of our employees. You know, the decisions that I make have an impact not only to the business, but obviously those that are that are that are supporting my business and, and my employees. So my biggest concern was, geez, you know, are these people going to have work and, and how are we going to keep them busy and, and what can we do? Um, so, you know, I remember having meetings in March saying, hey, listen, this thing's going to pass, right? Like like in a couple of weeks, we'll be all right. You know, here are the numbers and the numbers of Virginia weren't weren't that bad. Um, and then, then things started, you know, getting bad. So, you know, my biggest concern when this whole thing happened was what do I do? Do I lay them off? Do I, you know, keep them on board, but pay them a minimum? Um, but the revenue is not coming in. So it's at some point, you know, that, that, that train comes to its final station. So, um, you know, we had a lot of things that we had to really kind of think through and, and my communication to my staff was, Hey, listen, let's let's ride this out we don't know what's going to happen but let's diversify right so so we were not doing commercial work at that time so we said listen let's start dabbling into the commercial you know environment and, and see what we can offer those individuals that are either going because at that point people were going in a couple of days a week or they had some staggered shifts and things like that so we said let's see what we can offer there in addition to that you know i had other things that i could do have them do which would be marketing even going out and putting door hangers on paying by the hour so we really looked for ways to keep people busy and, and make sure that those those paychecks kept flowing 